Hello, welcome back to BS Life. In this episode, I want to talk about something uh, metaphorical. It's basically, so I made this um, kind of like a stone with a face uh, placed on the wooden, uh, kind of wooden altar. Um, this is actually was inspired by movie Parasite. It's inspired by this scholar stone. I know uh, if you haven't watched the movie, you definitely need to watch the movie. But not just this movie, I was actually watching the Uncut Games <coughs> games movie on Netflix about this giant opal and its significance. And I also saw this um, on YouTube the other day. It's about um, Jinmen Seki or how there is a, like a museum in Japan where, where the lady is actually collecting stone that looks like a face. So I decided to put this together um, and make my own um, metaphorical stone using Blender. And this is this was actually, uh, was actually made um, into AR. This is already an AR, and I use this Reality Con Converter app for it. So let's see how it was made. I used the Spreadshop add-on for this, but you can easily actually you can easily make a this kind of stone using Blender Displace Modifier, um, the Displace Modifier and uh, the micro subdivisions with cycles can create something that's really realistic, just like a real mountain. Uh, this is actually very interesting. Um, if you watch the movie, so it's basically kind of stone that you will find. They, they call it uh, the Scholar Stone. Sometimes you can find it at the university. You can find it at the uh, usually like a privilege like a rich people house they have this in their house we don't know what it is but you look at it it looks fascinating they can actually talk about this for hours same thing with this movie uncut gems the opal that if you believe that it makes like a magical uh, power that brings fortune then it's probably have some kind of magic but i am also interested with this museum imagine if there's a sketch fab gallery or exhibitions with just actual stones and what makes what makes this really cool is that because she collected from from just uh, she found the rocks she found the stones uh, along the rivers right <clears throat> she found the, the physical stones with the face and then she put it into a gallery um, yeah, I, I think this is very cool, very cute in a way. One is very realistic, and it's resembling the real mountain. It feels like huge. The Japanese one, this one is actually kind of cute, and you can actually just simply made it, sculpt it using Blender. In a way, you you can really just go to. Okay, you start with the box, right? I just control three and make it to have a little bit more detail but normally um, you either want to do that or you use the multi multi resolutions and then make subdivisions a couple of times make it smooth and you go to sculpt mode in the sculpt mode you you notice it's gonna jump between the low and the high res you can turn that off you can turn that feature off by go to the option turn off fast navigate and by default you have this symmetry you don't want that so you turn off the symmetry and then you start sculpting but you use the flatten I think flatten flatten brush is really really cool it's a quick way you can kind of reshape something that's originally just round and then you just reshape it and then on top of that you can use the multi scrap to add a bit more edge to it and you can actually start uh, start making your own uh, Jinmen Seki like a stone with with a face of course it doesn't have texture yet you can add texture later simply by applying it but yeah you can basically made this in blender which is I think really really fun things to do uh, maybe you don't know oh, what's the reason you're making this 
well, what's the reason making anything basically? Perhaps you can even you can actually sell this. That's one thing, but what's the value of 3D art anyway? Unless there is a purpose or it's just because it's fun, right? So this is one way you can create the stone. I mean, this is the Jinmen, Jinmen Seki stone. If you want now to talk about, okay, the opal. If you want to make the opal, you need to work with the shader. But I want to make this mountain, right? I want to sh show you what I use to create the the stone. Okay, this is the the stone that's already bullion. But let's go a little bit further. Where is it? Metaphorical stone. So I start with spread chalk and where let's see maybe I have it here the one that's still with the with the node there are actually many ways to do this and this is probably one of the slightly wrong way to do it because it doesn't give you all the details because I'm using I'm simply using this noise noise displays where you should probably use the like texture displays or there's a turbulence factor turbulence and there is a noise factor noise you need to juggle those nodes in order to get a better looking stone and you can definitely make this using just nodes this is not the realistic way to do it but I thought it's kind of fun to do it this way as well I started with a box I subdivide it and when you subdividing you can add a bit of smoothing you can make a more or less cut you can add a fractal and along the normal and then but on top of that I have this noise displays noise displays and then another subdivisions and then another noise displays and this allows you to create all kind of um, different kind of stone however I seems to be stuck in a, some kind of weird design and I keep getting this kind of result is I'm expecting something that's more like this like there's a if you use an app called Houdini there's a node called um, turbulence or basically or, or mountain it's called a mountain and then you basically have a mesh and then you assign very very high resolutions uh, noise to it and you get this mountain I'm pretty sure with blender you can do that as well with simply just modifier displays but anyway this is how I do it right and I have this weird looking mountain stone uh, but I actually boolean it. I cut in half using boolean. I simply use a box and simply cut that part. If you cannot cut it, I suggest you to foxel remesh beforehand and you have something that's more or less just looking like the stone. And then after I do this, I actually start to make the bottom part. Oh, I scale this in the Z axis so it's a bit more like mountain but the bottom part is interesting right without the bottom part it's just like a stone but if you put it in uh, some kind of uh, altar and put it a bit higher from the floor you get it you get something like this right this, uh, so this is something that I made procedurally basically it's it was a uh, just a simple plane and I bevel the plane so with the bevel we get of course the bevel we can do it in two ways but uh, I like it I like this kind of shape and then I add some kind of segment detail so you can make it so originally it was a plane okay really sharp plane and then you can kind of cut it in with the bevel so that's the idea 
and on top of that I have this extrude region and I I enable it uh, to extrude along the normal I think I extrude it multiple times and this is what we get we can have more extrusion you get something like this but uh, for now for the stone yeah I make it like this it's a you can randomize the seed to get a a different type of like a what do you call it the altar I don't know the bottom the base the base part of this uh, mountain and I have I believe that we can also change the the scaling of this so this really make this stone more um, elegant like grand looking uh, yeah and then from here I I use a couple of things in blender actually I didn't stop there you can just simply apply texture into it but I use uh, cycles to to make some kind of procedural texture that's a little bit more realistic this is actually procedural texture by I think Daniel Daniel Bikusha so it looks something like this even without the texture so the texture is just a PBR texture of a stone but this this shader looks really nice even without uh, any texture it's I believe it has this um, kind of like subsurface scattering happenings if you increase it so you can see there's red color so I really like this texture of course and I just plug this more realistic texture on top of it and I, I simply bake it out the, the bottom part I use the my old bamboo texture that I got from the internet so from here I simply bake it out um, let me try actually well, oh you need to bake out the the texture so with cycles you go if you need to do it in cycles not EV with cycles if with, with EV you don't have the ways to bake it if you use cycles render you can you can actually bake it as diffuse or bake the ambient occlusion to get more detail and then you export it out as GLB and then you go to, uh, to this app reality converter app if you are on a Mac and you have this access into reality converter currently it's still better it's only available for Apple developer but this is gonna be the tool that's available for free for any Mac users perhaps this app will also be available on iPad or iPhone maybe I don't know yet so this is what it looks like material we have stone and wood it's very simple very basic this is the kind of things right the things that you can do using blender on any computer you don't need to pay for it and you can make this really uh, metaphorical stone very significant stone your custom stone that you can kind of um, give a value into it and I have this material bamboo okay let's do the stone carved limestone ground this is a I have only one texture but some people might have the li library of stone texture you can you can try it material plug in the normal ah it's not updating interesting probably there's a bug in this latest version yeah it's not interesting reset so let's try again
interesting. I can drop in the USB easy, which is already, it's got all the material texture. Maybe my computer doesn't, doesn't have enough memory. Turn this off. Okay, so anyway, this is the one that's already working. You can test it out using different environment, which is pretty cool. And you just simply uh, file export it. Oh, the face, <laughs> I, add, I add this, the face after the fact, just sculpt it in Blender, it's very simple. And with this stone, I thought maybe, maybe at some point I will make it like, have four different face. So four-sided uh, metaphorical stone. It will be kind of cute and you, you can just share it with your friend. But it's a virtual, right? It's a, the only thing is not physical unless I print this out. Would be kind of nice if I, I actually print this out into real objects. A small print maybe cost me like $30 and then I can paint it maybe. And it's become physical and I can, it's, it has more value maybe. But even as a virtual object, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a, there's something significant because if you put time into it, it's not just like, it's not like a waste of time. Because it's a, it's also, it can be like a meditational, you know, like a meditative in a way, if you make something like this. All right, so anyway, Bong Jun ho Parasite, Parasite, Uncut Gems, you, you have to watch this as well, it's a very good movie and this kind of inspiring um, activity of other artists. Kind of nice to be this lady, she call, she basically find her stones and then she made, what I found interesting is how she made the bottom part, the base. Um, that's why I in Blender I made also the base, the wooden base and the stone, it's very it's very basic, it's very simple, but why do people do this? We don't know. Maybe it's uh, it has certain significance, right? So there you go. That's uh, Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.